This gentle giant may be man or muppet. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be exploring the life and career of Jason Siegel. This is my nightmare! Jason Jordan Siegel was born January 18, 1980, in Los Angeles, California. Because of his towering 6'4 frame, Andre the Giant out of the shot, please! Many of Siegel's earliest interests revolved around sports, as well as making music. It was after high school that his curiosity in acting began, and this prompted him to appear in a few community plays. By 1998, Siegel landed his debut movie role as a vodka watermelon wielding partier in Can't Hardly Wait. Unfortunately, his funniest scene was cut from the feature. I filled this with seven bottles of vodka last September. It's been in my freezer for. <laughs> and he continued taking minor roles in other teen comedies like Dead Man on Campus and SLC Punk. His first important part came on the small screen. In 1999, he began his stint on the beloved yet short-lived NBC comedy drama series Freaks and Geeks. He played the friendly and mild-mannered pothead Nick who was kicked off the school basketball team for weed possession. Despite the fact the show was cancelled after only 18 episodes, it gave Siegel a solid footing in the industry and allowed him to showcase his musical talent. I'm out of control, lady! During the series, he forged a friendship with castmate Seth Rogen and started a romantic relationship with co-star Linda Cardellini, whom he continued to date for a few years after the show ended. Perhaps the most important bond he made was with producer Judd Apatow, and that connection served him well later in his career. Siegel then transitioned to recurring TV roles, including a spot on another Apatow production, Undeclared, and a few episodes of CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. In 2002, he managed a starring role in the film Slackers as one of three friends who cheat their way through college, only to get blackmailed by a nerd who demands they hook him up with his dream girl. Why don't you watch where you're going, you skanky ass BS? Hot sucker. The slut. Butt wife. Hug. Monkey boy. Holy calamity, scream insanity, or you'd rather go to be the number great enemy. Siegel's reputation as a small-time actor transformed in 2005 when he landed a spot on the sitcom How I Met Your Mother. He made a name for himself by playing Marshall Erickson, who was the easygoing best friend of the show's central character, Ted. Ted, the only people in the universe who haven't seen Star Wars are the characters in Star Wars, and that's because they lived them, Ted. That's because they lived the Star Wars. He actually won the part thanks to the creator's love of Freaks and Geeks. While starring on that show full-time, Siegel reconnected with Apatow and Rogan for the 2007 comedy, Knocked Up. You gotta know all the tricks. Like, for example, if a woman's on top, she can't get pregnant. It's just gravity. Well, that's true. Everyone knows that. What goes up must come down. His hilarious performance as one of Rogan's friends led to a starring role the next year. In Forgetting Sarah Marshall, he played a man who dealt with the breakup of his long-term relationship by taking a vacation, but ended up at the same resort as his ex and her new rock star boyfriend. Not only did Siegel star in this Apatow co-production, he also co-wrote the script and some of the music featured in the film. Maybe the problem is that you broke my heart into a million pieces and so my cock doesn't want to be around you anymore, okay? He then played opposite Paul Rudd in the well-received bromance comedy I Love You Man and voiced the nemesis of Steve Carell's character in the animated feature Despicable Me. Vector! That's me, because I'm committing crimes with both direction and magnitude. Oh yeah! He also co-created the music for the Forgetting Sarah Marshall sequel, Get Him to the Greek, and played Horatio to Jack Black's Gulliver in 2010's Gulliver's Travels. He then portrayed the nice guy against Cameron Diaz's bad teacher the next year. Elizabeth, you know I like, grab a bite sometime? You still a gym teacher? I am, yeah. Then no. Okay, cool. Well, awesome. This one great. But it was another 2011 movie that really made a splash. That year, Siegel spearheaded the long-awaited return of the Muppets to the big screen by co-writing, executive producing, and starring in the project. In fact, it was Siegel who originally pitched the idea of a Muppet revival to Disney in order to bring these beloved Jim Henson creations to a younger generation. The movie became the most highly praised of all the Muppet films and was the first to win an Academy Award. Muppet! So much. If I'm a man, that makes me a 
Muppet of a Man. He followed that success by starring as the title character in the indie comedy Jeff Who Lives at Home, the rom-com The Five-Year Engagement, and another Apatow production, This Is 40. By juggling success in both TV and film, the multi-talented Jason Segel has transcended cult status to entertain huge audiences from both sides of the camera. It seems certain that his terrific and unique sense of humor will continue to make us laugh for years to come. I'm not going to go put clothes on. I know what that means. If I put clothes on, it's over, okay? I, 